I got some troubles, but they won't last. I'm gonna lay right down here in the grass. And pretty soon all my troubles will pass. Cause I'm in shoo shoo shoo. Shoo shoo shoo. Shoo 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 shoo. Sugar town. I never had a dog that liked me some. Never had a friend or wanted one. So I just lay back and laugh at the sun. Cause I'm in shoo shoo shoo. Shoo shoo shoo. Shoo 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 shoo. Sugar town. We brought you some groceries. Thanks. Jesus. I know. It's not me. So, what's new? Your uh, mom's biopsy came back by nine. Really? Cool. You should go. Get your moles checked out, too. Yeah, definitely. How are your finances? They're okay. Credit card? Could be worse. You know we're not bailing you out again. I had a big case last week. Really? What was it? You know I'm not supposed to talk about that stuff. This gay guy wanted me to find out whether another guy was gay. Was he? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, that's nice. What's on your mind, dude? Should I be worried if my pee smells like fish? Yeah, maybe. You know Varia Beans is in the back, right? So what? Just leave, man. We're not gonna judge you. I used to be loved. I used to be a kid detective. When I was 13, I solved the case of the missing fundraiser money. It was Rory Beans, the neighborhood knucklehead. Get him, Rory. In the beginning, I ran my trade out of a treehouse. Somebody stole the basketball magazines from my desk. Can you remember what else was in the cubby? My pencils, erasers, some peanut butter cups, a photo of my bird. But nothing else was taken. It was Clive Cunningham. How do you know? He's the only one allergic to peanuts. Wow. Thanks, Abe. Whenever we watched movies as a family, I would always spot the bad guy. It was the bald man. And guess the ending in the second act. She poisoned his drink. This is mine. Mine was bourbon. Oh, sure, as you saw me pour it. Seth Barry used to be nice, but now he's mean. I need you to find out what happened. Somebody keeps boring my bicycle without asking permission. I found this in the park. I need to know what it is. I noticed some blood on my dad's car. I want you to find out what happened. Are you sure? I saw that Constable Cleary was in the yard again. He wanted to catch me up on some of the latest cases. That's so cute. Son, we want you to know how impressed we are. 
I have never seen a young person take such initiative for the sake of their community. I was 12 when someone finally chopped down my treehouse. The town raised enough money to set me up with a real office in the middle of Main Street. The mayor's daughter, Gracie, was my secretary. I used to pay her in soda pop. Are you back at Mom's office? Oh, hi, Daddy. He's in with Principal Irwin. Want me to take a message? Somebody stole a cash box from the school fundraiser. What was it for? Animal rescue. Rory Beans was bit by a dog last summer. Someone's been sneaking up the clock tower, changing the time. Smells like the Red Shoe Gang. Don't you have a boy on the inside? Not anymore. He kept getting grounded. I was often in one of those situations where you're looking for evidence in a house, and then you hear the owner come home, so you have to hide. And it keeps seeming like they're going to open the closet, but they don't. And then you sneeze and give yourself away. Oh my god, that's adorable. Bill, come and look at this. One day, while taking a stroll, it suddenly occurred to me who had robbed Mr. Hepburn's candy store. I was awarded free ice cream for life. Here you go, Abe. Thanks, Mr. H. Come on, Abe. As a reward for all my hard work, I was invited to play drums for Sharkwater at the annual fall barbecue. Sometimes I would lie awake all night and wonder if I was the smartest person in the world. Oh my god, I met this super cute boy at the breakfast girl last weekend. You're always meeting cute boys. It's driving me up the wall. See you later. See you later. It's been nearly two weeks since the abduction of 14-year-old Gracie Gulliver, and the local anxiety continues to mount. I can't believe it. She comes in my store all the time. Things like this aren't supposed to happen here. The mayor and his wife released this emotional statement on Tuesday. Hello? Hey, Abe. It's Mindy Martingrove. Oh. Hi. Um, I'm not sure. My mom told me not to tell you this, but we're all really counting on you. I know you can do it. So we'll clear your stalls and call me back. Try and get some sleep, sweetheart. You have to stop torturing yourself. She knows you're thinking about her. <laughs>